Okay, so it's been a long time since I did one of these things. Uh, uh, one of the things that I've been interested in for a long time is the whole uh, activity pub type of sharing, the, the uh, federated type social networking. Um, at one point I ran a Mastodon server and just uh, I think the way I chose certain software for my server it didn't work in the long run and I was looking for other ways to run my own so social network and uh, Friendica was one of the things that I looked at. Uh, there was very many, um, there was uh, there was Diaspora, there was uh, GNU Social, um, there's a, a few others besides uh, Mastodon. Mastodon's sort of the most popular right now. It's, it's like a Twitter replacement. Um, <clears throat> anyways, the, for, for a few reasons I picked Friendica, but while I was trying to pick one, uh, I couldn't find a decent demonstration of Friendica on YouTube. So that's why I'm here right now making this video. Uh, one of the things that caught my eye on Friendica was that uh, it had uh, a calendar type thing going on with it. Um, I felt like that was an important thing to have as part of a social networking system that I wanted to run. Uh, if, you, if you don't care about calendars, then a lot of the other ones are almost equivalents. The Diaspora and the GNU Social and uh, a few others. But if you think you need a calendar, then Friendica is kind of your go-to. Now, um, one of the things that, that comes along with Friendica is, uh, let's see, I gotta pop a new window while I'm talking here. Yeah, this is a real hot take. No real planning, just running with it. And so, um, uh, it's hard to know really where to start, but uh, on Friendica, you've got uh, a local community tab, which uh, is specifically the people that are in your URL that are making posts. There's also a global community, which you're going to get anything in this feed where you have similar hashtags in your your own profile setup. Um, so in your in your profile setup you've got these places where you can put um, certain things uh, that, that will help uh, tune in what you see and this is a this is another uh, this is a different uh, this, this I also run this one this URL but uh, I just have it displayed with a different uh, theme so it's all the same buttons they're just in different places um, but you you get to say uh, your your list of tags that you're interested in and that changes what you wind up uh, seeing in your community areas your, your global community is gonna is gonna throw you people that have similar interests because of their hashtags match your hashtags or uh, or people that you you are directly following one-to-one. -one. Um, there's a, a network tab and this one is, is a little more Facebook-ish. Um, what you got here is all the the people that you've done connections to, whether 
whether it's a two-way connection with some people or if it's a group that you follow some sort of a forum or if you're just you're just a follower and and the other person didn't follow back you'll get their content posts on your your network tab the network tab like other things uh, has different ways of viewing it you get your commented last so instead of the last post that went up it'll if somebody adds a new comment to something it'll be at the top of the list um, this is just where it has to have something to do with me personally as opposed to uh, all comments that that might uh, have come from all your connections where like this one's in here even this it doesn't mention me but because I liked it it's part of my personal group so if I touched it it's in this filter brand new posts posts with shared links oh by the way that show more show less that that uh, that I just clicked there that was a personal setting of mine um, what I've done is in my settings there's there's a lot of personalization settings um, in my settings I have uh, I have made it so that that if a post has more than say Twitter's Twitter's old uh, maximum character limit that it just gives me a show more button so this post had a lot going on with it it, it so it it said show more but because it wasn't uh, a hand typed post this is I, I can tell by this this is a linked article so um, if I don't even know what to look for here. Uh, let me see. Let's see what the news has. All right. Suppose that we've got um, we've got a certain story that we want to link to in a post. Okay. So if I wanted to link to that story in the post your your initial post will allow you to do it as a kind of an attachment and that's what uh, this person did I, I can tell because the the horizontal rules top and bottom that's kind of a a, a feature that happens as well as uh, it's not direct text under her it's a, a reshare of this person's content so and th that person I can tell if you look way in the bottom corner here as I hover he's a diaspora user on uh, on that server um, so so my link converted to uh, a little snippet here and I want to preview it just to see what it's gonna look like before I post I'm not actually gonna post that but did I click it or didn't I Oh, there it is. Okay, so this one in particular wasn't much, but uh, depending on what the content provider does, you can get images and snippets from their 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 content in there. Um, yeah, this is a very unplanned uh, walkthrough here. So with the posting, now uh, my instances. I have kind of set it up where all features are available to the users so having a title for a post that's an option I turned it on having categories that help organize the posts that you make that's an option I turned it on the share box that's a given you you can't take that away because it's not a social network without it but the other two are added added features now um, the uh, the the categories are handy for finding posts of a certain genre it's it's like a search trick but uh, there's 
also you have a variety of, of settings that you can adjust where <clears throat> my default is just visible to everybody and right now I don't I haven't turned everything on yet but uh, I can have a post that I make on my social network automatically write a content out to a blogger profile uh, buffer I'll talk about that in a second or GNU social or Tumblr or Twitter so if I had any one of those other uh, accounts somewhere I would have tuned it in in my settings and had it automatically post to those other places um, when uh, when it comes to the the privacy of, of the share you you can switch off your visible to everybody and and just show to certain groups that you've made or certain uh, uh, forums that you belong to where you can post to or specific people so the that's that's your private permission settings um, that that popped in because I, I clicked the that forum okay so just to pop back to home here for a second um, See the categories set? So depending on your privacy settings, uh, other visitors to your profile may see, the, see this, uh, this list. So I click on this and all of a sudden I'm going to, uh, oh, what happened there? So, wrong oh 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 I know why because most of most of those uh, most of those categories that I have there are posts that I did in in the forums so what happens is the uh, clicking on the category brings up all the the posts you made that had that as a category so um, I asked for financial news and this one has those in in the category list when I originally posted um, let me just quick click here uh, edit. so you can see that's what the post looks like before it went up this was the attachment where I made a link go into it and this is this is my adjustment to it where uh, for this particular post, I gave an abstract that I wanted Twitter to have. Instead of having the full content, uh, the, this, this chunk here in the abstract is what Twitter is going to post. And uh, the other places that I post, like the Tumblr account uh, that's, that's default connected, is going to get this and this. So... Um, if you don't have an abstract, uh, what happens is uh, that that post is going to um, that post is going to <clears throat> be a shortened version. So, just for quick examples here, let's see. So, the auto posts to Twitter. Let me see here. Six. All right, so death and taxes. What was it? This story is how far back was that one? Jesus Christ, I've done a lot of posts since the uh, since that one. Um, Oh, there it is. There it is. So, so the abstract over here gave me a different, slightly different content. So, where where fiduciary duty here is a link, uh, I have fiduciary duty here as a hashtag. 
So the abstract gave me two different sets of content, even though the link was the same, uh, and uh, the same article. <clears throat> now, uh, let's see. I don't want to click anything with it's active. Um, retweets, retweets. Okay, now here, uh, this one. Oh, Twitter, why are you? You're killing me here. All right, so so this post here just found out about this resource, the free dictionary. Uh, <clears throat> the contents nearly identical because uh, I didn't do an abstract in it. However, the title, or the, yeah, that the title of the post didn't make it in, oh no, wait, I did do an abstract for that one too. Where's the one I didn't do an abstract for? So many posts. Here we go. Okay, so this this is one that this is a post that I did not do an abstract for here. Okay. The the title goes in as is and the first so many characters go in as is up to the uh like the Twitter limit of this. And then the rest of it is a link on Twitter that jumps the person back to this particular post. So, so that's that's how the uh, between <clears throat> sharings work. So, <clears throat> the the point that I was heading to there is, <coughs> Friendica can be your single source where you post one place and have it drop everywhere else. <clears throat> Tumblr. Tumblr posts uh, slightly different the way uh, <clears throat> the way it comes through um, not not too much different but the posts have their their titles <clears throat> and then the content so it's it's not uh, too big of a difference uh, between the way Tumblr sucks in content and the way things post to other networks. Now, uh, one of the things that, that I said I would get to in a minute in, in the settings was this buffer. Now, right now I have my buffer turned off, but it's actually tuned in for, uh, for a buffer account. Buffer is a separate service that um, when uh, when this checkbox is checked, it's going to send it to the buffer service, and the buffer service has different levels. There's free and there's paid for, but um, the free, you can send it to a lot of different uh, social networks. Uh, you can post to, and things change over time, but uh, right now you can post to Facebook, pages, not your Facebook profile, not your main feed, but pages on Facebook you can post to, as well as uh, LinkedIn, <clears throat> LinkedIn company pages and, and a few other things, but not directly to your profile on LinkedIn. So uh, Buffer uh, is a, a pretty impressive uh, distribution system for for posts so uh that's that for a second there um <clears throat> so i really liked that that ability to share in one place and and get it to go out to everywhere at once the uh <clears throat> there's other settings with uh like right now, I'm on here as as a as a lone user. Um, <clears throat> there's there's settings uh, with the social networks where uh, hopefully I don't have to cut anything out here. These are other social networks that I can direct 
post to, uh, but I, I just don't want to set those up. I don't use them, but all of these are available for, uh, <clears throat> for interacting through your Friendica page. Uh, like the, the Twitter import export mirror, I, I have, uh, I have the settings such that it doesn't mirror all posts. At one time I had the checkbox turned on and my my profile wound up with every tweet that was coming in off of that identity and it just it was a bit overwhelming and <clears throat> I'm I'm trying to to filter down the things instead of see everything so I turned I unchecked it and and uh the posts uh, went away again, but uh, you can have the replies that you're getting on Twitter show up here on your Friendica site, and then when you reply to those, it replies out accordingly. So uh, lots of settings, lots of lots of things you can tune in. Um, uh, Let's see what else should we care about okay so something just happened I have it set where it it shows the the like account number of uh, new posts and whatnot so when we get in here we see we've got these are the two new statuses that just popped up um, the way I have it tuned when I get a direct mention it it comes up in here so <clears throat> if somebody follows me or uh, mentions me directly or comments directly to something I've commented on. It pops up in the notifications area. Messages is like your direct messages uh, where you're communicating in private to somebody. Uh, introductions is a tab that shows all the people that are trying to connect to you. Um, let me see what else you got uh, you got a contact thing where you can get suggestions from the whole Friendica system there's a global directory where you can look for people that have public profiles okay so um, the friend directory you can scroll through and see if somebody has something that makes you want to follow them and connect with them um, so this is all and you can subset it with people or forums so that you're only looking at real people or forums content filled by real people um, <clears throat> Forums are, uh, uh, there's a variety of forums that you can make on Friendica. Uh, the, I have a few right now. Uh, one of them is, uh, I'm, I don't really have a lot of time to build on it, but uh, I want to put, uh, give the game away style information about uh, the stock market, uh, trying to be as best I can in plain English and uh, and not so much like the commercial radio shows where they just tell you what you're what they're told to tell you um, so these news groups I have it set where uh, these forums you can set uh, a variety of different ways public and private and uh, and generally they're when somebody tries to connect to one of these, the forum automatically follows them back. So they're in the loop. So now if you were say to connect to the news, you could go in to here and post your own content in that forum. Um, and it seems like unless somebody on the server, the owning server doesn't like what you're doing, you can continue doing that, but it, it's possible to get un like uh, have your post privileges, your original post privileges, taken away from you. Uh, even though you can still comment on posts, uh, so um, 
try to not be a dick if you go on somebody's news group and post. Otherwise, you'll get squeezed out. Um, so when you follow these, these forums, they show up in your network. When somebody posts to them, uh, I don't know if I'm following any any uh, forums as of right now, but uh, besides the ones that I actually do, but okay. So if if uh, somebody posts to the group, you see the person that posted it here, and then the icon of the group that they posted to to make it easy. For you to, to sort out who's posting what to where. Um, there's, let's see, uh, there's a lot of uh, fancy things. Uh, let me see, Con uh, advanced account types. Okay, so this this is a personal account type. You've got a uh, soapbox that approves the, you're, you're making people followers, like you're just uh, uh, soapbox, you, you just, it's the, that's an American idiom, I think, because uh, people would stand on a soapbox, a wooden soapbox, so that they were high enough that they could shout into the crowd in the public streets. Um, so you're you're basically just talking to people. You're not listening to people with a soapbox dial account. Um, uh, standard is the the ordinary where you're you're deciding who's going to be friends with you and so forth and whether. Um, I, I don't know about love all. That's that seems like uh, too much. But you you got account types for organization page, uh, uh, news page and the forum now that's that's what that one thing is so there's there's two different kinds of of forum you get your public forum and you get your private forum um i run one private forum for various reasons but uh you after you build an account on a friendica server get to decide what type of account you want to be using after you're there so um that's a pretty cool thing for for advanced types um, <clears throat> depending on the the way the the administrator set up the uh, the particular server you can have one email address for a, a number of account types um, which is sometimes easier to manage and sometimes it's harder but the uh, you wind up doing one of a, a variety of things you either make all of them interconnected where you can manage the accounts uh, as a single identity like right now I have this managed here because I've connected more than one account so I can I can go I can instantly change and become the news and media source list account and post as if I'm that identity instead of other users posting to the forum uh, and that's management so any there's there's different ways to connect these but uh, or you can have it where each one of these things has its own uh, login <clears throat> so you would you would use the username instead of your email address you'd use the specific username on the server to log in with the password of it. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what else is. You can uh, migrate your account from one of the Frenica servers pretty easy to another one. Um, so if you don't like what's going on or your treatment on, on a specific URL, you can zap out and go somewhere else. Um, <clears throat> you can have multiple profiles that, like, I don't want to do this, but you can have multiple profiles so that different people in different groups see you differently. So you might have one profile 
that you set up for people that you've you've moved into say a inner circle like a different uh, okay let's see contacts your your groups you can make different groups that people will be inside right so uh, you can set it so that your your profiles your let me see settings you can have a different profile showing for each different type of group so that uh, say people that have follow you first off they're in like a holding tank and they see a a certain profile that's very uh tight-lipped so to speak um, where you're not giving away any personal information to those people that follow you before you've moved them into another group so that that profile you you can have multiples and that's also depending on how the particular admin set up the the server that you're going on as a, as a an identity um, let's see what else do we got you get your you get your choice of setting up uh, depending on like this is an option that I turn on on my servers but uh, you you've got a bunch of different uh, options that you can turn on or off for your your personal use um, you can decide how you want your how you want it to look when you log in. So as opposed to Facebook, where everybody sees the Facebook, you can change your your look just the, the same way that these two look entirely different. All they are is a different choice up here and some other settings down here. Um, so you get to decide how you want it to look. And when a, when a person visits your profile, they see your profile in the settings here even though when you post and they see your posts they see it in their own choice um, so we did the social networks there's add-ons uh, this is the number of add-ons you have depending depend on how your system administrator set them up like what they added and what they didn't um, so you get to decide uh, what weather locations you want and whatnot, but the administrator had to have gone and set up the the weather app. So just uh, real quick. So this is this is uh, I, these are special settings for the admin um, over here. Special settings for the admin would be admin. But uh, it's just a different look. They're the same thing in different places. So uh, current weather, I probably shouldn't be showing this, but um, yeah, I'll have to, to gloss that over. <laughs> but the uh, the the weather, you got you got to set your own up by going to Open Weather Map and following the instructions, and you get an API key and and then your server is allowed to show people their current weather settings so i as a user said that i want this location so um, so oh so when I'm on what freaking page does that freaking weather show? I forgot. Oh, here we go. So that that open weather map widget just pops up here, right, and shows the info. Now, um, I'm I'm not sure if when a visitor comes onto my page if they see what my weather is but uh, okay so yeah there's a lot of settings 
you got your add-ons so you got different add-on settings if you have IRC you go in and set your own IRC settings uh, you can do a language filter where you force it to only show content from certain languages uh, you got content filter and not safe for so what if this is set what happens is if somebody used the the tag not safe for work then it's going to uh, collapse the content until i click it to display the content um, <clears throat> here's my show more where i've got the character limit where i use that for for collapsing you can change what your start pages so that whenever you come onto the site your default page is a certain thing i like to see the latest posts at the top so i hit network and posts um, super block is a, a, i think this one is kind of uh phasing out but super block is a way that you can have no content show up from specific urls um, you can push content to uh, okay I think if I open the XMPP chat jabber I don't remember if there's um, yeah so you can set uh, a personal setting to decide that you want you want your chat window to work with that now I have it unenabled because there was a thing let's see if this there it goes okay so I had uh, oh that's not gonna work um, I had found that there was a small bug with the 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 way that that thing worked and editing posts for some reason with uh, with the that little client being available you couldn't edit posts correctly it would it would do this weird thing where it would as soon as you would click into the field to edit a post that uh, it would clear the whole context so that's off for now it's it might be already fixed by now because I upgraded the server recently um, but you get to decide where your XMP chat connects to <clears throat> and then sign in appropriately uh, some people have it uh, the I think the Nerdica instance of, of Friendica has it set up where uh, when you log in to your server it also logs in you into a chat service so like Facebook has those uh, instant messages uh, their server also does that I haven't mastered it yet okay uh, this this guy is the one that's helping me try and do what they did over at Nerdica so that <coughs> I can have that uh, instant messaging turned back on delegations are the way you set it up so that you can switch between accounts those are potentials that I can use uh, uh, export this is I believe how you you switch from one server to another and then uh, remove account is a way to delete all your your content on that server which works good because uh, I noticed as as an admin that uh, whenever you launch one of these sites that that some people that are probably in the devs group um, will uh, I, I was about to, to do something but I can't because there's there's gonna be too much to block out but uh, as the admin uh, you can you can go in and look at the users and it's got extended information about them but I I always see like a couple each time I launched one of these servers I saw a couple uh, accounts that would come in early do a little bit and then delete their account I think they were checking to make sure that that it works right but 
Um, also, because, I mean, they didn't do any posts and they deleted their account. So I think it was just tests and, and whatnot. Um, let's see, what else is there to talk about on here? Oh, there's some apps. I don't, most of them I don't have on there, but uh, it just uh, it seemed like they were silliness. But uh, I, I put on ones that I thought would be handy. Um, so they they show up in different places for different situations. But uh, let's see. Uh, there's, I set it up so that there was an easy connect uh, to uh, IRC room where you go into your IRC chat under a, a certain setting um, <clears throat> and then invite people into your room for a chat instead of that instant messaging type thing. Um, there's also, I set up a WebRTC, so your, your webcam, uh, you can interact with other people and after you set this up uh, and join, make a, you make your own room name, hit join, and then you can message the, the invite uh, people and have a, a web chat room. So, um, let's see. And that's that's about uh, all I care about right now. So I think I've covered it pretty good. Um, when it comes to installing a Friendica server, uh, there's a lot, lot of good instruction already out there. Um, one of the things that, that I did, uh, because I've got this how to build your own server, thing that I'm working on. It's it's not perfected, but if you just ask for Ubuntu, if you ask for Ubuntu WNYMathGuy.com, um, you're going to get forwarded to a Google Sites page where I detail how to build your own server from scratch and um, in there like as I install things what I'm doing is I'm, I'm keeping my own notes of uh, how to do things so that when something goes wrong and I have to redo it I can go and uh, look at what my notes say to do. So uh, on here, if you want to launch your own Friendica server, you could you could just follow these instructions, or you can uh, you can get all kinds of different information from Friendica, their main site, and uh, how to download and install. They've got a lot of Windows instructions for it. Um, Uh, this is their Git site when, like, when you want to report issues that you're having with it, like as in you've installed it correctly and it works, but there's a bug in the system. You can report the issues and help help them work out uh, how to fix that that problem. Um, resources installation. And here you got uh, sort of a, a Windows computer friendly installation. So uh, I don't know. I can't imagine serving off of a Windows computer. Just it's so icky. And I think uh, we're about at the end of our nickel tour here. Um, Oh, oh, uh, another thing, I don't know if this is on purpose, but, uh, I know this is such a trivial detail, but there's a weird thing that I noticed with, uh, with forums that you follow. Clicking here is different than clicking here. 
So immediately you're set up to post to the forum and I'm not sure what the exclamation point is for on there because usually it's an at symbol when you're talking to somebody else in particular. Um, <clears throat> but uh, for some reason clicking the icon for the site just loads the site. I'm sure they probably did that on purpose but there's a lot of little interesting quirks that you can find when you're on there um, on a Friendica site. So uh, this is where you would search for content on a very busy one. Like some of them have lots of users and lots of content and if you could search by tag or, or whatever uh, in in the different areas to find a post that you were you wanted to see again or share so, to somebody. Um, okay. So I feel like I'm overstand my oh 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 yeah and public servers uh, the the Frenica directory you've got uh, all the the public servers that are available uh, listed and they're they're kind of in order I don't know how the grading system works right now but uh, I think that heartbeat is the most important thing that sorts them um, whereas uh, at the low end of the list here you got people that, that haven't updated their servers and and like I don't know maybe they're they set it up as a test server and the content doesn't happen so it's just dormant so it winds up with a low score and goes to the bottom of the list but uh, that's one place that you can go to look to find a, a potential server to join uh, some people have their their descriptions in there some people don't um, most servers are in germany because i think the friendica software was mostly developed by germans um, <clears throat> so there's that um, i really gotta stop talking uh, feel like I'm gonna leave something important out um, oh oh I know this is the end and nobody's listening to me anymore but uh, the one of the things about these these servers is because they're federated okay um, there's I'm getting content from from diaspora people from from Prolerma people, I'm getting from from uh, GNU Social, I'm getting from Mastodon. Uh, the the posts that I, I'm getting are coming in from all over the place, and that's the the idea behind Federated. Is that when you go and make a connection? Um, let's see what happens with a random profile. If you go in and make a connection to somebody that's not on your system, it's as if they are on your system. You see what they post publicly or privately to you, and they see what you post publicly or privately, even though you're on totally different servers. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I do a lot of that is something you can't really do on Facebook is uh, there's a lot of posts that I get on the network page that I'm like okay with not seeing again. So you can delete and it's just deleting locally that content. Their post on their server is still intact. Um, you can delete a whole bunch with uh, by going to your bottom and hitting bang and the, the posts will vanish. Um, <clears throat> I didn't read these yet, so I don't want to mark them for deletion. Uh, so that can clean up your your network feed if you if you want to do so, uh, where just the content that you want to remember is still there. When they delete it, I don't really know if it vanishes from your network because the way 
these distributed systems work, I think it will be persistent, but I, I don't know 100% if, if it'll vanish from your own site. I know that comments that I've, uh, I've deleted because I thought I was deleting them locally disappeared off of a remote forum. So uh, because of the ways these things can connect, you could say, for example, uh, make your own family server so that your inner family of, of uh, relatives can post their content and their updates on your own private server. So with it federated, you could go in and connect. Um, let me see if I can find that spot. I didn't need to use it yet, but uh, uh, let's see. There's, there's a place, I really forget where it is, but there's a place where you can add trusted servers. So as an administrator, <clears throat> somewhere in all these options, there's a place where you can add. So suppose a, another family has their own Frendica server. You add that to your thing. So now what happens is your when you have your community posts, <clears throat> You wind up with both families interacting even though they're on different servers uh, by default so the friendship connections don't have to be set up uh, explicitly like they would on, on uh, I just I need to look for something uh, damn it I'm going to do that. Uh, contact contacts. Alright, let me just, uh, we'll just go and uh, look at this random stranger's profile. So, no matter what they, they use for their federated content, um, there's going to be some way to connect to them. And when you make that connection, that links you two together. But there's a way for the administrator to link entire servers together. So you could build your own private family Facebook that is uh, uh, unmarred by all the crap that uh, Facebook pushes into your feed because they want you to see something because it helps sell advertising dollars or whatnot. Um, so you could you could set up your own private little Frendica networks to replace your Facebook and still have the same uh, enjoyment that you got from Facebook but without all the the crap that you don't want. So uh, that's that's my nickel tour. Hope that wasn't too much or too little. And now I gotta remember how to shut this recording off. And there it is.